Do you need to figure out how to find the mass percents of potassium, oxygen, and hydrogen in potassium hydroxide? Well, good thing you clicked on that button, my friend, because I'm going to teach it to you quickly. First, we're going to find the mass, and then we're going to find those percents. Watch. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write the elements we see in the compound. So potassium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Then we write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see any subscripts there, put in a one, because there is assumed to be one of them. All right. Otherwise, if there was zero of them, well, what the heck would the letter be doing in the compound? Right? Then multiply by the mass of the element. We're going to use the periodic table to help us out. So the mass of potassium is 39.1, hydrogen is 1.01, and oxygen is 16. All right, so let's plug them in. So this is 39.10, oxygen was 16, and hydrogen was 1.01. Then we're going to find the total mass of the element here in the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross for each element. So that's going to be 39.10, 16 for oxygen, 1.01. It's the same as all the masses, but that's only because there's only one atom of each. And then when we add this all together, we get 56.11. And there it is, right? That's the total mass of the compound. That was the first step. Now, to find these percentages, I'm going to add a column. Watch how simple this is. Bam. So to find the mass percent of potassium, take the total mass of that potassium, 39. 39.10, and then divide it by the entire mass of the compound, 56.11. Don't worry about the units because they would cancel, but then you have to multiply by 100 because this is a simple percent calculation part divided by whole times 100, all right? Hence why we had to find the total mass first. So this works out to be 69.68%. That's all there is to it. Same thing for auction. Take the 16 divided by 56.11, multiply by 100. Don't worry about the sig figs. This is 28 28.52%. All right. And then what? What? There you go. And then last but not least, take the hydrogen, right? 1.01 divided by the total mass of the compound of 56.11. Multiply by 100. And what do we get here? We get 1.80%. All right. And what should happen is if you added all these together, it should equal then 100%. And that's what I want you to get on your next exam of 100. And what we've done to help you do that is created thousands of videos for you thousands of them. All right. We help you through specific topics in your class, specific questions, and take a look at our channel. All right. We really want you to get there. We want to help you succeed. Thank you so very much.